Happy 20th anniversary, talking about, woo! Lady Bunny. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about, talking about, talking about. That's what I'm talking about. About. We are very proud to have Mr. Aaron Paul joining us today. Thank you. Uh, we're going to be sitting down chatting with him in a minute, but right now he's going to show us one of his many talents. Enjoy. <laughs>
Thank you so much. You are watching Talking About. It. I'm John Griffith. I'm Cara Kilda. And heading over to our couch is Mr. Aaron, Aaron Paul. Paul. Hey, Thank you. Yay, welcome. <laughs> that was nice great. to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, that was fantastic. So that Thank was you very your, much. That's, that's your is that's that single the out, or is yeah, it just that's about to come out? out right now? Okay. Uh, I don't care. Available on iTunes and any other download digital distributors. It's doing very well. Good. We just had a, um, over a hundred and. 66,000 hits on Starfleet Music Pool. So it's basically my first hit in America. That's okay. exciting. Yeah. Very, How's very that good. feel? <laughs> it was great. It makes all the hard work pay off, you know? It makes it all worth it. <laughs> I like the message of that song yeah. very much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I wrote the lyrics. Mm -hmm. um, I was a bit nervous about writing that song at first. because I didn't Why? Because I'd never done anything that had that, like a message like that. And I got the track and they, 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 my producers were asking me, we need an anthem for the album. And I'm thinking, anthem? Oh, you know, Star, Star Stangled Banner, how am I going to write that? He sent me the track, and basically that's what came out of me. And I thought, you know, do I want to go this far with this, with this song? And I thought, well, you know, it feels good, it feels right. And I ran with it, and mm -hmm. it's, it's the breakout hit of the album. It's really infectious. Thank you. It's, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, I couldn't stop smiling. Like once I started hearing, hearing the words, heard, right? I was just like, yeah, <laughs> I like this. Excellent. It makes my my job well done. You yeah, know? absolutely. Like I I love hearing songs like that just for like I hate to say it, but like for our community, like queer queer people, like to hear a song that's so positive and just like right. yeah, I don't care. Right. And mm -hmm. you know, it's actually, it, and it's not just for the LGBT community. I mean, it's, it's for everybody. Mm -hmm. Anyone that's feel victimized or different in any kind of way, you know, they, I hope that they can find some something in the song that mm -hmm. can help lift them. Well, the, you strong. know, the thing I especially like about that is, is it does speak to all of everybody. Our, yeah. our, our, everyone's humanity. Yeah. I mean, right. that, that's, that's the <laughs> bottom line. Like, yeah. we should be allowed to be whoever exactly. we are. Exactly. Love yourself. I, I think, I would say, you know, first love is the, is the, is the most important love. Mm -hmm. Loving yourself first, mm -hmm. then others will love you after. Well, I also like the, the fact that you mentioned that you are created in God's image. And, yep. you know, I do believe that we are created in, by something that loves all of us. Right. So. Yep, there's the, there's the line, um, um, I'm different, I'm strange, but God made me in every way. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. That, Amen. that was the line. <laughs> 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 yep. I don't mind being strange. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. It's been known to happen. <laughs> so I think that's what people are finding. I think people are listening to the, the message in the song and really kind of, you know, feeling it and running with it. And plus it's a catchy, fun song. Mm -hmm. I don't care, you know. So wait a second. Um, I'm a little ignorant. Okay. The rest of the album, Yep. how is that doing? The album's doing well. Um, it's been out for six months already. Okay. We released it back in June. It's called Raw, R-A-W, Aaron Paul Raw. Um, and like I said, this is the breakout single from it. And it's funny, I never expected this to be the breakout song. Hmm. What, what did you think was going to be the I breakout song? I don't know, song? You know because, it's because, because they, I, I keep thinking anthem, I think, who, who wants an anthem, you know? People Queens. Kinda, people <laughs> like Queens want an anthem. <laughs> <laughs> people want the, there was, there's, I mean, there's, I'm, I'm proud of every song on the album, but there was always ones I kind of thought well, that would be the hit. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. And somehow this one just creeped right up. Well, it's funny, I've been reading, um, Kate Pearson from B-52s put out a solo album recently okay. and, and um, she had written a song and she got some shit for it because she called it a, a, a trans anthem and then oh. somebody else wrote a song and they said anthem and, and, and it's just funny that you brought that right. up that your producer was like, you have to write an anthem. They kept on it, you need an anthem, you need an anthem because every song was about love or mm. you know, yeah. the, the, the standard stuff that you generally would hear on the radio yeah. and they said, well you need, you need the anthem to kind of make, steer it a little bit away and I'm thinking, how am I going to write this anthem? Because <laughs> 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 I'm thinking, you know, the Star Spangled Banner or something. <laughs> <you know. laughs> something, yeah. yeah. You know, God Save the Queen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like I said, that just came out of me. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm proud of it and I love it. And I think every artist has their, that one song mm -hmm. that's, mm -hmm. you know, it's their stamp. And I really believe this is my song. And I'll be singing it for the rest of my life. So. <laughs> well, good. you yeah. certainly <laughs> looked like you were enjoying yourself yeah. while you were oh, yeah. singing Thank it. Thank you. I'm having a great time. Good. How long, you haven't been in New York that long. No, I have actually. Um, I've been here for about 18 years. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in New not York. Not as long I, as me. <laughs> I'm in New York. I, I mean, I do go out to tour and stuff mm -hmm. often, um, but I live here in Brooklyn, and um, America is now my home. I love it here. Where you live in Brooklyn? Yes, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. And my family's here too. My mom's here. Oh, that's oh, nice. Yeah, she's in Jersey. 
So if you come <laughs> to the show, you'll if you come to the she's in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> if you come to the shows, you'll see my mum. She did, like <laughs> yeah. in the front row. Oh, she loves it. She loves it. Oh, yeah. and she's very proud. You know. Well, she should yeah. be. Mm. Hello. Well, do you have any shows coming up? I do. I, I'm at the Expo this weekend, mm -hmm. LGBT Expo, um, okay. at the Jacobs Javits Centre. Um, I'm doing um, Stonewall on the 21st of March, mm -hmm. um, and a bunch of other stuff. I mean, it changes every day, mm. you know. And like I said, this, the sex of the song, more and more stuff comes in. Right. So, but keep keeping me busy. Where do people find their current tour schedule? Um, on my website, um, you can go to www.aaronpoolmusic.com, or you can go to my Facebook, Aaron Pool. Or you can find me at Twitter, AP Music, or you can find me on Instagram, Aaron Pool Music. <laughs> got it all covered. There you go. Yeah. Cause I think I could probably make that Stonewall gig. Oh yeah, please, please <laughs> yeah. come. I'd love you to come, please. That would be, be great. fun. Mm. Yeah, Absolutely. it's gonna be a fun night. It's gonna be a fun night. Now, the, the, the Raw is your. How many albums have you got out? Well, this is my first solo album, Raw. Okay. Um, my background. Um, I was part of a boy band in Europe, um, and we went on to have about, you know five top ten hits in Europe, and I was the lead vocalist. Okay. Um, so, and um, Simon Cowell, American Idol, mm -hmm. he signed me when I was about 19 years old and put me in that to be the lead singer for that group. We had, you know, I was in that for a few, many years, had a few hits, and then I decided um, I didn't want to do this no more, and I wanted to be in America. Mm. So I jumped ship, came over here, you know, I did a little bit of music, but it wasn't quite going in the direction I, want, I wanted to, so I kind of went behind the scenes, it's like production, worked for a couple of fashion agencies, you know, model agencies. And then about five years ago, I caught the bug again. I wanted to get back into music. And it was, I just thought it was right this mm -hmm. time. And then the album Raw was born, and I Don't Care was born from that. And so how long did it take you to write the album, the solo album? Um, the album, it took about, about a year, a year and a half from start to the beginning. Because at first, I was still finding my way. And mm -hmm. I, what, 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 what am I going to write about? What do I want to sing about? You know, how, how do I want to do it this time? And I decided, you know what, I'm going to be me. I'm going to just do whatever I feel to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cover the spectrum. I want to have Latin on there, I want to have reggae, I want to have pop, dance. So you didn't want to have any rules? Just like no, you didn't I said, have you know what, I don't care. Already. I don't care. <laughs> you know, I want to do what I want to do. Because mm -hmm. usually when you're part of a machine, of like a Simon Cowell, you're told what to do. You're told mm -hmm. what to wear, what to say, what to dress, you know? Yeah, what was know? that like? I was uh. going to make a smart ass comment, <laughs> like, you know, and then things took a turn for the worse. Like, what happened? No, he's just how you see him on TV. But I mean, the experience for you being in a boy band, like, I mean, you say that, it's like I have all these horrible things come to mind, like, oh, God, he was so controlled, and blah, 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 you know, like. Yeah, yeah, you, it's, I felt like I was playing a character. In a way, I'm, you probably yeah, were, yeah. You know, I mean, I went to perform in art school, um, you know, I did dance, I did uh, music, um, but I, even though those schools were, helped me in the boy band, I wasn't able to really express the way that I wanted to do, because you had to so kind of follow the formula. So do you feel like now? Absolutely. <coughs> now, excuse me, with, with the solo album, now I'm me. you're an artist. I'm I, for mm -hmm. the, first the artist time, you want to be. Right. Yep. And for the first time, I feel like I am, for the first time. That must feel really yeah, good. Yeah, it is. Because you, 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 you spend your whole life, especially uh, looking at other artists, mm -hmm. and you've seen how they, how they um, you know, express themselves. And you think, God, I, I, I want to do it just like that. But I want to mm -hmm. find my own way of doing it. And I feel like finally I'm finding my own way of doing it. That's really <laughs> brave, yeah. though, to do what you did, to be like, you know, fuck it, I want to go yeah. to America, and I'm going to do this, and mm -hmm. this, and this. It and took a long time, but everything happens for a reason, and, and yeah. it's on time, mm -hmm. you know? And like I said, I never, if you told me three years ago that this, would have, this song would have been charting, uh, <laughs> I would never would have believed you. Never would have believed you. And now you. here you and are. Is, yeah, yeah, but it's, it's such cool. a great feeling when, when what comes out of you is in sync with the audience. Yeah. And that's, that's and the, the funny connection. Thing, like, even in the live shows, you know, I've, been, I've, I mean, I've done thousands of live shows from, from year, many, many years. But this is the first time when I'm in a live show and I see the, the energy of the crowd singing back a song at me. Mm -hmm. you know, especially with the I Don't Care. Mm -hmm. To see the same conviction and energy as I give vocally, they're giving it back at me. It's amazing. That's Absolutely cool. amazing. And I think, you know, that's why they say it's an anthem. Mm. You know, it's, it's especially an anthem, anthem now. That's cool. That's Thank really you. cool. Thank you so much. So when are you going to put out another album? <coughs> <laughs> well, you know, oh my God. <laughs> I'm on all of you guys. Right? Like, so where, when's well, it going to be Well, I mean, like more? the out right out right now, so that's still available. Um, I've got a whole new set of producers throwing tracks at me. I mean, I'm becoming... That's really cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's a really good position to be in. That's and, great. And 
keep giving, keep giving them to me. Yeah. Um, I'm, 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 I mean, I love to write, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I consider myself a writer of, of, of music first and a singer. How um, odd <laughs> that you write your <laughs> own songs. No, I, I wouldn't have it anyway. I have to. It ha I have to feel that it has my essence in that, the music. Absolutely. You know? you know, one of my friends was a musician for a long time, and then she had put it aside, and then she just said, you know what? I have all this time on my hands, and I started writing, writing music again. And we were at having uh, we were having lunch together like I don't know a week ago two weeks ago, and she's like, "Do you want to hear my song?" And I was like, "Yeah, I want to hear <laughs> your song." And I was sitting there and I was just like, "I can't believe you wrote this. Right. This is beautiful. It was amazing and beautiful." And I'm like, "Keep doing yeah. it. That's, yep. It's wonderful." When I was doing the raw album, I was on a roll. I mean, I, I was bet. literally just buried writing, writing, writing. Give me more tracks. I write, 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 write. So now, and you know, it's paying off. Are you still in contact with Mr. Mr. Cowell? I'm not. Um, we, I mean, we have crossed cross paths a few times over the years, but you know, he, I mean, he's a multimillionaire on top of the world. You yeah. Know, mm. and he's doing his probably, thing. There's probably a B at the, at the beginning of the word, and not M. <laughs> right. Probably a billionaire. <laughs> but you know, um, we had a great relationship. You know, and I'm sure, I'm sure he's seeing what's going on with me now, and he's probably going, "Oh my God, wow, Aaron." You know. Mm -hmm. So you never know. You know. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah, you have a lot of stuff to look forward to. I do. Thank you. That's Thank really you. cool. And like I said, I, the, the main thing is I'm enjoying myself. You know. Yeah. And well, if you're not, then it's not worth it. Right. Exactly. It's, you know, I mean, w uh, there were times when I was in the boy band and it was miserable. Mm. You know, I, I wasn't. I wasn't me. And then you and you're cramped in a a, a, a confined space with five other four other individuals and everyone's got an opinion and an ego <laughs> and <laughs> everyone wants to be the star. You know. Yeah. <laughs> And everyone would, you know, look at me, look at me, look at me. And to me, it's not about that. It's about, you know, performing and doing, the, doing your art the best way you can do it. Well, it sounds like you're, like, you're really free now. Mm -hmm. And you've, you're, like, confident in being an artist. And yeah. And and absolutely. So I, I, I found myself. And, you know, I'm running with it. And I'm so grateful that you're here to share it with oh, us. Oh, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, you got to come back. It's a pleasure. Yeah. I'd love to come back. I really so, would. Uh, Again, where can people uh, find out more about you and, and, and where to buy? Uh um, you, can, you can find me in, on any um, digital um, distributors, iTunes, mm -hmm. um, Amazon, the okay. album, and all the singles are on there. Um, there's my, like I said, my Twitter, um, at A Paul Music, um, Facebook, Aaron Paul, um, Instagram, Aaron Paul Music. Got so to remember. <laughs> all, over, <laughs> all over the interwebs. And, <laughs> and once this segment. the new day, right? We live in. You <laughs> yes. got to know all this stuff. And once this segment's online, you'll be able to find links to, to Aaron on our website, which is www.talkingabout.info. And uh, I hope you're going to bless us with at least, an, at oh, least one more song. Absolutely. Okay, yes. so why don't you take the stage right. and, and we'll say our, our goodbyes right. from over here and you'll sing us out. Um, Taking the stage again is Mr. Aaron Paul. I'm John Griffith. I'm Cara Kilduff. Thank you for watching. And one more time, here's Aaron. Thank you. Turn to your drug, yes I'm feeling for your love I like what you're doing to me You got me looking from the ground I was so high up in the clouds It was coming over me I don't care what they say Yes I want it anyway But it must have taken control of me Make me feel I'm floating up I'm addicted to your fantasy Is it real? I wanna feel I know I gotta do Your morning in your ecstasy When we make it to the bed Yes, I know I got you wet I'm drowning in your boy's desire 
I love it. 